Hey, welcome back to the Silverback Show. This is part three of suffering, transformation, creative imagination, consciousness. So we've talked about the fact that we have to accept that all life is suffering and all of us suffer. And if any of us are beyond suffering, then we'll all follow you. So that's, that's, that's the level of uh, the game. We've also discussed that there's an awareness that there's a part of our brain and part of consciousness where we are able to be creative. We see this with all the technologies that we've come up with, all the stories that we've told over eons. We are the creative animal. And I like to, I like to bring things back to nature, as you know, and I like to bring things back to the primal and more primitive. <clears throat> the reason why is because we've walked away from certain aspects of our consciousness. So if we, if we accept that everything throughout the evolution of human beings is gathered and stored in what's called the collective unconsciousness, and if we understand that there's intelligence that we are part of, and that intelligence is this web of life, web of nature, and human beings are just a tiny speck of dust within this web of consciousness, web of life. And if this collective intelligence, and it is collective intelligence, you don't think that somebody created the next new thing just all on his own. No, he did not. Yes, he might have had an incredible brain that allowed him to take all this history uh, that had brought this to that and then put it together in some new way. Um, and also, we know that focusing on our attention on something is that which we become more of. So if somebody's going to train for a marathon and he decides that, okay, within a year I'm going to do this you know, this marathon. And uh, five years before that, he says, okay, I'm gonna build up to this. That person is programming their attention towards running and toward endurance and running to get to where they can do a marathon. Any kind of setting goals is the, um, putting our attention on something that that which we want to achieve. And whatever we put our attention on, we become more of that. If people pray every day, they become more of what they pray for. If they meditate every day, they become more of what they meditate on. If I am totally unconscious, I become more of whatever I'm absorbing from the world, whether I'm watching, you know, nightly news, um, or I'm, uh, you know, excuse me. <coughs> mm. Okay, thank you. Bless me. Uh, so, so when we when we when we get into when we get into creative creativity with the creative mind, and accept that creativity is a choice and it's a decision and it takes some courage. We start with the question, what do we want to create? What do I want to create? If I'm not going to create something with my life, I'm just going to be a part of someone else's creation and I can sit in front of the TV day in and day out and be a part of someone else's creativity. And the TV 
or the YouTube channel or whatever else that we're paying attention to is creation before us. And that turns us on. It turns something on inside of us. It's consciousness being put in somewhere and being reflected back. That's all that's going on. Consciousness being put somewhere and being reflected back. So let's make our own movie. I am very interested in the idea of making my own movie. I am very interested in um, developing myself to the fullest silverback levels that I can develop myself. And part of how I'm developing myself as a silverback is to teach other younger silverbacks or developing silverbacks like myself and teach myself through having conversations about exactly what it means to hold myself and you and others accountable for holding the family together and holding manhood together and holding uh, aspects of the role of the man and how vital it is in all of our worlds. That's a conscious decision and it's a creative decision. You're creating things every day with the decisions you make. I'm creating things every day with the decisions I make. I'm where we are all the same. Oh my God, my back hurts. Oh my God, I'm exhausted. Um, I, I give you something that's really interesting because when you are on your purpose, when you are doing things that you really, really believe in, and that's also part of creativity. Creativity is first the thought, what do I want? This is what I want. Then the following the thought and then leading to actions and behaviors. I want to create the Joe Silverback show. I want to create um, the next... Uh, oh, I, I want to create a, um, a restaurant. I want to uh, create a beautiful environment for my granddaughter. It starts with an idea. Then it's behaviors and actions. And then it's emotional content behind the behaviors and the actions that make that important. So the more emotional energy that we put into our actions and behavior from the thoughts about what we want to create, that's how we create a great movie. And it's the movie of our lives. It's the movie of our lives. And they're very, very, they, 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 it's very, very simple things. But creativity is bringing beauty and bringing truth and bringing goodness into the flowering tree from the seeds of our beliefs and our ideas and our thoughts. And they can be as simple as planting a garden with my grandchild. They can be as grandiose for okay I'll, t I'll tell you one of mine i i want to hike the pacific crest trail and i want to spend time in nature in wilderness with no electricity and no lights for extended periods of time so i can learn to develop that part of consciousness that i see that we have moved away from over eons of time so if you go back in time to primitive man sitting around the fire as language is developing, put yourself into that place. Put yourself, put yourself back into primitive man sitting around the fire. Okay? And you're telling a story. And that story is just your projection. 
it might be about some lion that's just, uh, you know, a few kilometers away. And that lion is interfering with uh, you guys' territory. And how, what are we going to do about this lion? It can be anything. It can be anything. Guys like Elon Musk, in my opinion, are guys that just have learned to trust their imaginations and to trust the stories that they are able to create. Of course, they're also geniuses, right? There are some guys that are just brilliant out there. But again, I don't, I, it can be as small as how am I going to help my granddaughter have something wonderful in life? And so if, if we look back, if we look back anthropologically, if we look back prehistorically, storytelling is the oldest form of making a film. We love storytelling and we are addicted to stories. So we're the biggest consumers of stories and now let's see how we make our stories work for us. And the way that we can make our stories work for us is take something which we love. And I know very, very few people who don't love watching something on TV on a regular basis or watching a movie on their computer, listening to um, iPods, li iPods, listening to podcasts, listening and watching YouTubes, um, and 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 just look at the, the 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 viewership on the Kardashians. We are a consumer animal. And we consume stories more than we more than anything else. Okay, so if we are constantly involved in consuming stories, we're also constantly involved in projecting stories. Gossip is a projection of a story. So is telling our child uh, a, a bedtime story. So is talking to our, our close friends about the story of our life or the story of someone else's life, stories that we've learned. That's all part of consciousness. And so different levels of consciousness are just about seeing ourselves as the director of our own show. So that's what I'd like everybody to, to work with and give me your stories, give me your feedback, share with us, um, share how you used your active imagination to accomplish something that was beautiful, was part of what you thought about bringing beauty into the world, was something about bringing truth into the world and goodness, beauty, truth, and goodness. I'm interested in those things. And maybe, maybe let's do this. Let's also do the opposite. Let's also look at how we were the director of bringing ugliness into the world and falseness into the world and some form of badness. Okay, some form of doing something bad. That might, if, if it's about, it's about identifying what we want to create and what we want to project and understanding that we are the projector and understanding that we are the co-creators, the co-producers, the co-directors. And even if you don't believe that, pretend for a little while. 
do it for a month. Pretend that you are the co-producer and co-director of your thoughts, of your emotions, of your beliefs, and that you are 100% responsible for choosing the parents that you chose to come into this life with and the people that you have chosen to meet. And just play around with that for a little bit and see how that connects with your ongoing story. Okay, namaste, Silverback checking out. Mm -hmm. Thank you.